receive of him there's healing in this place oh there's healing in this place there's healing in this place there's healing in this place hallelujah 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 just lift your hands and worship the Lord I was sharing this uh, the other night, just when you think about when Jesus was on the cross, his arms were stretched out wide to take upon every sickness, every disease, every frenetic activity of the mind. He took on your poverty. He took on your lack with his arms outstretched wide. What an honor to worship him with our arms outstretched wide unto him, to the one who died, who took our place, who sacrificed, and it was a joy. And when he did so, he was being mocked. He was being scorned. He paid no attention, so to speak, to those who were looking at him with his arms stretched wide. But what he paid attention to was what he saw before him. The joy that sat before him as he was on the cross enduring the shame, he saw your face. Yes. Yep. He saw your redemption. Yes. 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 He stretched his arms yes. out wide yes. with joy because he knew that what was yes. set before him yes. was your salvation, yes. was your peace. Yes. He saw your riches. He saw the end. Yes. Even though he was enduring the shame, yes. he was enduring the pain. Yeah. He was set to endure the separation from his father. His yeah. arms were stretched wide to receive of that because he saw you on the inside. Yes. He saw you. He didn't care about who was looking at him, but the joy that was set before him. Yeah. You are the joy that was set before him. Yes. So what an honor to lift our hands. What an honor yes. to worship him. Yes. What an honor to give him Hallelujah. glory. What an honor to give him Hallelujah. praise. He loves you so much. What an honor. That's why we lift our hands. That's why we yes. give him glory. That's why we give him praise. It was a pure delight for him to take your place. Yes. To take your place. That's yes. why we give him praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands and worship him. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Whatever you need is in place right now. It's here. Just reach up your hands and worship him. Yes. Take it as yours. Take it as yours. Take it as yours. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yep. Hallelujah. Yep. 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 Yeah, I, yeah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Glory, 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 glory in this place. Glory, glory. 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 Yes, yes. He's he's healing. He's healing right now. He's healing right now. Yes. Backs, 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 backs. Those that, yes, you've been dealing with that back issue. He's healing you right now. It's through your worship. It's through your worship. It's through your worship. Just worship him. Yes, he yes, he's healing that back right now. He's healing that back. Yeah, you've had tightness. It's loosening. It's loosening right now. Yes, it's loosening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maha shake it. Yeah, maha. Yeah, joints. Joints, joints, yeah, 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 joints, yeah, you've had that pain, that pain, yeah, 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 he's working on that right now, he's working on that, yeah, yeah, he's working on that right now, yeah, yeah, there's a heat, there's, there's that anointing, that anointing that flows, that anointing that heals, yes, his power is flowing, ah, yes, just worship him, worship him, worship him, worship him, worship him, yes, ha ha, ha ha, yeah, maha, manchiki, yes, thank you, Father. Father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've been dealing with those mental, those, the, those attacks of the mind. Those attacks of your mind. Yes. Ah, uh, he, he went to the cross. He bore the chastisement of, of your peace. Yes, the chastisement of your peace was laid upon him. Yes. Yes. That anointing. That anointing. Yes. Just, oh, ha, uh-huh. ha, uh-huh. ha. Yes. It's, it's, yeah, ha, uh-huh. ha. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ha, uh-huh. ha, yes. Oh, yes. There's healing for your mind. Ha, uh-huh. ha. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you, Father. There's peace. There's peace. There's peace. There's peace in your mind right now. There's peace. There's peace in your mind right now. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, yes. Ha, ha. Thank you, Father. Glory to you, Father. Glory to you, Father, Lord. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, Father, Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Father. And I'm sure there's other things that you've been you've been God, calling as yours during this time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just let's just thank him right now. Thank him, Father. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Thank you, Father, for being a manifest presence in our lives. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, that you you just you take good care of us. Thank you, Father. You did not leave us helpless, but you gave us the helper, the healer, the deliverer, the answer giver. Oh, we thank you, Father, Lord. We thank you, Father, Lord. We thank you, Father, Lord. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, Lord. Yes, yes. Yep, yep. Yeah, so if you're one that might have been dealing with backs or your joints, do something you haven't done before. Move it around. Give action to that. Give action to that. What, what you've been believing for, give action to that. Yeah, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Just, just as the, that one leper that came back, he gave back, he came back to Jesus and, and gave him thanks. So he was not only healed, but he was made completely whole. He was made completely whole. He was made completely whole. Yes, through, through his worship and gratitude, he was made completely whole. Not just healed for a point in time, but completely whole. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. 
Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, mama, shit, the mama, mama. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, we thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yep. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Your worship is key. Your worship is vital. And it, it's, it's great to come to our, our, our church family, our local church, because we, we get refreshed, we get filled up. But it doesn't have to just be on Sundays. Now, actually, I'll say this. It should not just be on Sundays. It should not just be on Wednesdays. It's, it should be daily. Daily. For what Jesus did on the cross. For what he did on the cross. That is the debt that we owe. <laughs> for someone to lay down his life for us. So to get up every day and, and just worship him and say, thank you, Lord, for what you've done. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. The ultimate sacrifice for me. That is the debt I owe. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, praise and worship team. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Glory to you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. It's back in the olden days. That's what my kids would say, you know, when, uh, <laughs> for those that are older. Nobody's old around here, I'm just saying. Old, back in the olden days, you know. Back in the olden days, yeah. people would have to go to, to the mountains to worship. But praise God, you know, in this time, we don't have to do that. We can do this anywhere. I mean, oh my goodness, anywhere. Paul and Silas, guess where they were? In jail. <laughs> in jail. I see all of you all here. I don't see nobody in jail. So you all are doing pretty good today. <laughs> so, and we live in the freedom of this, of this great country of the United States. There are some countries that get persecuted. They have to do it you know, uh, underneath, underground, on the deal, you know, they have to, so, the, so nobody can, can, can know what they're doing, but they realize this is my safety, this is my help, this is my protection, this is my, this is my deliverance right here. By me staying in his presence in the midst of whatever is going on, even with all the pressures of, that, that's the, of the country or whatever, of the leaders or whatever it is, I know, I know who is my help. I know who is my savior. I know who is my deliverer. I know who is my foundation. I know the one that I put my trust in. 
And in the midst of all of that pressure, whatever it may be, they still worship. They still worship. They still worship. Hallelujah. And we get to do it here. Freely. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, so don't just wait till, he, till Sundays or Wednesdays. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Matter of fact, you know, you can have your own microphone in your, in your, in your shower room too, you know. Yeah, I mean, they'll say, oh yeah, good job. Good job, Johnny. Good job. Yeah, yeah, that sounds really good. Yeah, yeah. Then, you know, they're not going to complain at all. So, just make a joyful noise. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, <clears throat> hallelujah. We're going to get into the word as well. We're already in it, but we're going to get into it some more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You all got your Bibles? You got your Bibles? Hold it high. Praise God. Hallelujah. And if you have an iPad or, you know, a phone, well, that's okay. That's okay. You, you're, not, you're not playing Tetris in the back or so, you know. So, no, no, we, we got you. We got you. Although, I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I don't know if people still play Tetris now, but probably not. <clears throat> so, say, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. <clears throat> it's the God of, it's the, God, it's the Word of God. It's the Word of God. I believe what it says. And I believe I can do what it says. <clears throat> My heart is ready to receive God's word. And I thank you for it. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word today. It shall be a light to my feet and a lamp to my path. We thank you, Father. Your word is, inter is your, the entrance of your word ha, gives me light. And we thank you, Father, Lord. We thank you for wisdom and revelation today. We thank you for utterance and, bu and boldness today, Lord. We thank you, Father, for the words of heaven to come forth. Ha, we thank you. It is such an honor, Lord. And we just, I am just so grateful to be here, Father, and to be uh, just a, a, a vessel to be used by you. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 All right, you all can grab your seats. Praise God. Thanks again, praise and worship team. Thank you, band. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. It is, a, it is an honor to be here before you all today. And um, uh, just to, to be a supply and a help to pastors. Amen. I want to make sure everything's off here. One time I was ministering and, and uh, all of a sudden I heard something in my pocket. I'm like, Who, who's talking? Who's talking? It happened to be Pastor Jay. So I had like a podcast in one of, you know, and I guess the screen, my pocket turned it on. So apparently, you know, I'm not sure if that was a good service or not. We needed Pastor Jay. Is that what that? No, no, no. <laughs> but, um, uh, it is such an honor to be, to be in front of you all. And uh, for those of you all that are visitors, please come back. Yes. Come back so you can see Pastor Jay and Pastor Debbie. Um, <clears throat> they would love to, to, to meet you. And, and if you all do not have a church home, what do we say? Welcome home. Welcome home. We say, you know, give us, give us a couple times. Give us a couple times. So every service, I, this, it never, it, it never uh, amazes me because every service is, is different. Yeah. You get the word, it's good. But it's, it's like, you know, it's not, it's not just, oh, the same old thing. So, so, uh, so you're always welcome here if you all do not have a church home. And, um, you know, please do come back so you can meet Pastor Jay and Pastor Debbie. So, so praise God. I have something on my heart today that uh, <clears throat> I was um, <laughs> wrestling with the father about just, should I give this? But he's like, yes, okay, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. So I'm being obedient. <clears throat> and uh, go to uh, Ephesians chapter four. Ephesians chapter four. And I'm gonna bring this up here on my iPad because I do not have the, I'm gonna read it out of the Amplified. <clears throat> Ephesians chapter four, verse 16. <clears throat> And actually, we're going to back up a little bit. Um, 
and start up just a little bit before that. So, sorry, my Bible here does not have the, the classic version of the Amplified. So, so that's why I got to pull it up here. Um, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. All right. Don't worry. I'll promise to get you out, you know, quarter past two or something this morning. Or this after. I know you all got some barbecue waiting, you know, or something, you know, as it is on Labor Day. Uh, so... <laughs> So, no, I'm not going to go that long. <laughs> I'm good. I got it right here. Thank you, though. Yeah. All right. So if we, re if we start here, verse, um, uh, actually, verse 11, okay? And I'm going to read this in the Amplified Classic, okay? And verse 11, it says, and um, his gifts were varied. He himself appointed and gave men to us, some to be apostles, special messengers, some prophets, inspired preachers, expounders, some evangelists some pastors and teachers. His intention was the perfecting and full equipping of the saints, the full equipping of the saints, his consecrated people, uh, that they should do the work ministering towards building up Christ's body, the church. We the church, y'all. We the church. And, and God's plan was to give us in ministers, men and women, uh, pastors, teachers, prophets, uh, anoint, uh, apostles, you know. Uh, he, 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 he planned to have all of these, these ministry gifts for us. And they're, they're gifts. So we should receive them as gifts because they have something for us. And it says here, for the perfecting and the full equipping of the saints to do the work of the ministry towards the building of the body of Christ. And, and you know what? It's, it's funny, we, we talk about this year, because Pastor told us, you know, gird up the loins of your mind, be ready to run. We've been running this year. We're gonna still going. And we've, we've had, oh man, I think it was a stream of what, how many ministries, ministers per, every month or? <laughs> but you know what? We needed that, those ministers, because there were things that were on them that's helping us, that's equipping us to do the work that he has for us to do. So, so that, uh, so those ministries are key. They're vital. They're vital. They're vital. Uh, it says that, that it may develop until, this is verse 13, until we all attain oneness in faith and in the comprehension of the uh, full and accurate knowledge of the Son of God. All of, these, all of these ministries have a specific role to help make things more accurate for us. You know, from uh, I'm thinking Dr. Jacobs, you know, uh, you know, um, um, Reverend Terry Mize, you know, just all of these ministries, Pastor Nancy, all the ministers and things like that that we've we've had back to back to back, you know, uh, with praise and worship conference back to back, you know, was, you know, and we still have more coming with uh, with uh, brother brother the Keatons, yep, they're coming, and uh, and this, these are to help us, okay, they're to help us. To, to, um, to help us to come to the full, accurate knowledge of the Son of God that we may arrive at really mature manhood. Mm hmm. Yep. Uh, I, I like how, you know, the Bible talks about He's the author and finisher of our faith. He's the author and finisher of your faith. You ever have some wood that's been finished? Versus some wood that's not finished? You know, that's smooth, you know, it's been worked on. Yeah. You know, some of the, the woodwork that we've had here has been finished. Yeah. Yeah. Fine detail. Yeah. You know, if you, if you rub your hand over, you're not going to come back. Oh, ooh, that's sharp. Yeah. You, you know, yeah. you're not going to come back because, it, because of a splinter or anything like that. Yeah. Finished. Yeah. That he is the author and finisher. Yeah. He is the author and finisher. Yeah. You know, you're, because of, because of the, the, uh, the gifts that he's given us, it's to help perfect us, to help finish us, to help mature us, to be used for the proper use. So, uh, uh, and it says here, to be really mature manhood, completeness of personality, which is nothing less than the standard heights of Christ's own perfection. Woo! Nothing less. This is his intention, that you be created, that you be finished to uh, nothing less than looking like Jesus. Did you catch that right there? Did you catch that right there? That his intention, his, his, his whole goal was to finish you, to perfect you, to mature you, so that you look like the Savior himself. 
I don't think y'all caught that one right there. Let that marinate a little bit, okay? Uh, then in verse 14, so that then we may no longer be children tossed like ships to and fro between uh, the chance of gusts and teaching and waves and, and ever, you know, all these wrong doctrines and things like that that we may hear of, okay? The prey of cunning and cleverness and unscrupulous men, gamblers engaged in ever shifting form of trickery and inventing errors to be misled. So that's one of those things. These gifts right here that we have, they're there to protect us. They're there to protect us, to keep us uh, focused down the path and not being drawn off by squirrel moments, as Pastor Jay says, you know, because that's, that's, what, that's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to create uh, squirrel moments or deception. Just a little bit of, just a little bit, just a little bit, just to draw you off from what's, what is actually the truth. But when you have these ministry gifts that come in, they, they help keep us and protect us. As pastor flows in that prophet's office, there's, it's protection. They flow, yeah. <clears throat> And then verse 15, rather let our lives lovingly uh, express truth in all things, speaking truly, dealing truly, living truly, and folded in love. Let us grow up in every way in all things unto him who's led, uh, who is head, even Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one. Yeah. Now, this is, I, this is leading up to verse 16 here. This is what I want to get to. Okay, verse 16. For, say for, for. because of him. Who's him? Jesus, the whole body, the church. Who's the church? We are. We are. We are. We the church. We the church, okay? Uh, for the whole church, okay? Because of him, the whole body, the church, in all its various parts, closely joined and firmly knit together by the joints and ligaments in which it's supplied, when each part with the power adapted to its need is working properly in all its functions, grows to maturity, building itself up in love. If there was a title for this, I would call it the supply that I have for this message today. The supply that I have. You all have a supply. And I'll say this, if you are, if you are visitors here, uh, <clears throat> Um, this, this definitely can still apply to you as well. If you have a local church, this would apply with, you know, how you bring your supply to your local church, how you bring your supply to help your pastors. So, so I don't want you all to, to, to turn off and think, well, this may not apply to you. No, no, this, is, this was written to the body of Christ. This is written to the body of Christ. So this is for us here also, but this is also for the body of Christ. Okay. And then, uh, if, if you're one that, that, you know, may not have a church home and, um, uh, you know, you're looking, you know, this is, these are the benefits of, 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 of being connected properly. Okay. So, so we're going to talk about the supply that, that I have, the supply that you have, because we have a supply. Now I'll say this. We just talked about the fivefold ministries there, right? We just talked about that. So, uh, the, um, the thing is they have a supply for us. They have a supply for us, but we have a supply as well. Did you hear what I said? We, take a look at your neighbors. You, you, take a look at your other neighbor. You, you have a supply. Say, you have a supply. You have a supply. You have a supply. Say, I have a supply. I have a supply. I have a supply. I have a supply for our local church. I have a supply for my pastors. I have a supply for the plan of God. I have a supply for my family. I have a supply in my jobs. I have a supply for this situation or whatever may be going on. I have a supply. I have a supply. I have a supply. Now you may be thinking, well, I don't know, there's a lot of responsibility, but you know what? Look at the first three words. Look at the first four words, I should say. I can count, I'm just saying, you know, four words. All right, all right. Look at the first four. What does it say there in verse 16 of, of, in, the, in the Amplify? What does it say? Because of who? Because of you. Because of what you can do. Because of your good looks. I know y'all look good too. Y'all dress up real well. And because of your smarts. Because of your connections. No. Because of who? Yeah. 
Who's him? Jesus. So it's because of him, that is why the only reason that you have a supply. So if there's that, that thought of, oh, I can, how can I do this? How can I, how can I be a part of this? This is so much here. It's not about you, baby. It's not about you, boo. You know, it, it's about, it's all because of Christ. It's all because of Christ. That is the reason why you have a supply. That's the biggest thing right there. It says, because of him, because of him, because of him. So we don't have to wait on five-fold ministry. Don't get, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. No, we need it. But just to, just to think that, oh, I'm just going to wait on, you know, big minister to come in. I'm just going to wait for pastors anointed to, to help me out. No, no. And talk about, let me, let me just say this. Talk about, like, you know, subtleties, you know, like the whole sovereignty, the sovereignty wrong doctrine, you know, you know, where it thinks, oh, you know, let God take care of it. He's a... I, you know what? I'm a simple dude. I'm just saying, you know, you know, from the city, I'm just saying. And, and I, I looked, I even looked it up in the Bible. Sovereign. Looked at BibleGateway.com. And it said, does not compute. And I'm like, did I spell it wrong? I'm, I, I know. I, I know spelling is something I'm working on, you know. So I thought maybe I spelled it wrong. Okay. So I, so I changed it and then saw the little red squigglies and say, you know, so I spelled it right. <laughs> okay, all right. So I, I, you know, I spelled it right, right? And, uh, uh, <clears throat> so, and then I, I put in sovereignty. Still got nothing. 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 Yeah. nothing. Yeah. And then there's a, there's a thought that, that, you know what, I'm just gonna wait on God to do something. And you have no, it's like you have no, no say in the matter. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is what Jesus did on the cross. He died on the cross. And, and I love how Dr. DeFrance said, and he gave you your, your voice back. You can actually say something now. That is how Mark 11, 22 and 23 works. You say something. You say something. You say something. You're not waiting on God. God's done everything already. He's already done it. He's already done it. He's already done it. Already done it. So because of Christ, you have a supply. Because of Christ, you have a supply. Because uh, we've been made one with him. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, because of Christ, and this is one of those things where it's like, you know, you know, that whole sovereignty thing, <clears throat> you know, it, it, it robs people of their authority. He's already delegated us authority. He said in Matthew chapter 28, go ye therefore. Now you may be thinking, okay, grant, yes, he's God. Okay, I get that. God is God. God is God, right? I get that. Uh, but there's a part of where uh, if somebody that has delegated you responsibility to do something, you know, most of us have jobs in here. We have, I, well, I'm saying this because of kids, you know. <laughs> I just say, all right, well, you got a job? Yes. Good, I'm good. I heard you got blessed with something else too, brother. All right, good job. Uh, so, so one of the things that, uh, um, so like, you know, when you have a job, right? You have been delegated, like, like your boss. Perfect example. I got a job. Maya's like, praise the Lord. <laughs> and, um, and, oh, this is good some, you know, for those of y'all, y'all single folks, you better make sure that the other person got a job, okay? You, you, I'm just saying, you, you, you know, you, you make sure brother man has a job, okay? All right, ain't no freeloading around. Si si sister needs a job, too. Sister needs a job, too, okay? <laughs> All right? So, so when you have a job, right? And I guess you can think about it even as a family as well. I didn't, you know, and you have, you know, someone that's the boss, the head, right? The principal, or even for my case, the principal, right? They have the power. 
They have the power, right? But you know what? They delegate authority to you. So therefore, because he's delegated or she has delegated authority to you to do something, you now have a supply that, that you can bring to that, whatever that is, to your family, to your job, whatever it may be. You have a supply. Okay? I know I forgot it, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you have a supply that, uh, that you can bring and it's been delegated. It's been delegated to you. So this is what Jesus gave to us. He delegated that authority. We have a say in our family. We have a say in our nation. We have a say in our job. We have a say in our local church. We have a say in the plan of God. We have a say in pastor's ministry. This is the supply that you bring. And it's all because of what Christ did. <clears throat> he made you righteous. He made you righteous to be able to uh, speak to things and be able to live victoriously. As it talks about, you know, by, by one man, sin came in Romans chapter five. But by, by Jesus, the, he brought the gift of righteousness. He put you in right standing. This is what, this is what Jesus did because of him. Because of him, because of him, he puts you in right standing such that you have a, a right to go boldly to the throne of grace. You have a right to have, be in covenant terms to talk to your heavenly father just as Abraham did, just as Moses did. You are in talking terms with your father just as they are, just as they were because of the righteousness that Jesus gave to you. Therefore, you can go boldly and, and, and you can decree a thing. You can speak to things. This is the supply that I have. This is the supply that you have. <clears throat> now, now it's, it's, I, I'm, I'm really stuck. I'm, I'm trying, I'm staying on that, uh, you know, because of him, because of Christ, because it's so important. It's so important. Thank you, brother. It's so important, okay? I know, man. I have a supply. She's laughing because this is what my father walks around with, you know, a handkerchief and I'm just like, I'm, what you laughing at? I love my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, he's a good man. <laughs> he put a lot of things into in me. Uh, and uh, so, <laughs> Jesus is the glue that holds things together. He is the glue. He's like that when you know when you're making dough. He's that gluten that you know that helps keeps things together. <laughs> Okay, he is the one that 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 like like if you have a, a family, you know, I remember my, my grandmother She had eight children yeah. My father was the youngest yeah. and um, <clears throat> And I, I'm the youngest grandchild. So so you had people that are older the olden days, you know, my cousins, you know <laughs> the older day, Yes, than me. So, so uh, is it, it was, you know, my brother and sister they they grew up. They, they're the old folks, you know, you know the, uh, uh, So And and my grandmother Okay, grandma Eccles All right she would be like the glue for the family because we had family in New York. We had family in, in Ohio, family in California, family in Puerto Rico. We had family across the world, you know, but, but, but it always, it, it, every time somebody comes in, guess where we would go? Yes. Go to Grandma Echo's house to see the cousins. She was the glue. She was the glue that held the, the family together, you could say. And I know you all probably have family members and, you know, those that, that, that are elderly that, that may be like that in your family. But that's, that's like with Jesus. Jesus was the glue that, that, held, that holds all things together such that, uh, such that it can function properly. 
And, and I'll say this, since we got some murder folks getting married soon, so, so soon to be married folks. I don't know why, every time I'm up here, you know, I'm over talking about marriage, you know, but, but, but I'll say this, for those that are, are getting married soon, okay, uh, you gotta make sure Jesus is, is, is the center of your, your relationship. You gotta make sure Jesus is the center of your relationship. More than how good somebody looks. I'm being nice. Okay, more than what, more, more than, you know, but Jesus is the center. He's the center because I'll tell you what, there may be some times where you may have some idiot, idiot secrecies. <laughs> Y'all like, what? I know, I say idiot secrecies. <laughs> idiot secrecies. <laughs> you know, some idiot secrecies that try to come up. <laughs> you know, and, and you, you didn't plan this, but all of a sudden, that, oh, that, oh, sorry, that's that idiot secrecy that came up, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That was, that was that old man right there. I messed up with that one, you know. But you know what? If you keep Jesus at the forefront, there's always going to be love. Yes. There's always going to be forgiveness. Yes. There's always going to be mercy. Yes. And there's always going to be, you know what? The, the ultimate true goal is, the true goal is to, to, to want unity. Yes. Unity. And, and, then, and then if you were one that, uh, if you were one that, um, if you were one that, uh, 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 you keep him and your, in, 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 you know, in your relationship as the first, okay? Then you're going to be renewing your mind in that area anyway. Yeah, that's right. yeah. 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 Because you made him first. Yeah. You made him first. So, so it's, it's important that Jesus is first. So in your supply, Jesus is first. Because of him, because of him, you have a supply. Because of him, you're able to do what you're doing. Because of him, you can be a blessing to, to the congregation, to the plan of God. Because of him, he is the main importance. Hallelujah. All right, let's keep, let's keep rolling here. Let's keep rolling here. So let's go back here to verse 16. It says, because of him, the whole body, the whole body, the whole body. Now, it didn't just say pastors. It didn't just say uh, those that are on the platform. It didn't just say those that are in leadership. The whole body. And actually, if you look at the Amplified, it says it's what? Church in its various parts. It's various parts. We all have various parts within our church. We all have various parts. But you know what? Every part has a supply. Every part has a supply. <clears throat> I think sometimes some people think that, oh, you know, I'm not in this position. I'm not here. I'm not doing this or whatever. You know, and, 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 and they think that... Uh, um, you know, there's a thought of, you know, I, I can't bring anything. That's a lie. That's a lie right there. That's a lie right there. And if you, because it says here, it says the church in all its various parts, all its various parts, you bring a supply through, through your various, through whatever your part is, you bring a supply that nobody else does. It's like if you are, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, if, you, if you're making some food mm -hmm. Come on. and you're, you're, ta you're tasting it and you're, something's missing. Yeah. Yeah. Something's not being supplied in this. Something may, now you may, you may have the main important part. You may have the chicken there already. You may have the potatoes or whatever, whatever it may. You got the main things there, you know, you got, but there's something, there's, there's something missing. There's something missing in this, in this, this whole part right here. This, 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 there's something missing right here. And it could be like, you know, I don't know, salt or something like that. Something so small, a couple grains of salt. Did you catch that? Something so small in the, in the natural, something so small in the natural can make such a huge impact, you know? And so, so here you may think my role here is so small. First of all, that is a lie. That is a lie. God has never said that your role is small here. 
that role that you have here is something that brings something that can impact us more than anything else. Just like that salt, a few grains of salt can make it make a huge difference. It adds flavor. It preserves. You know, it gets some taste in it. Mm, like he brings other stuff out of it as well. Yeah. You have a supply. This is the supply that you bring. You may think, you know, I just think like with clothes or something like that, you know, with uh, ladies probably can appreciate this right here. She's like, what? It's a good thing. Hold on. Where's, your, where's that fear right at? <laughs> uh, but as a, you know, as, you know, just with, with wardrobes, you got your main things that you put on, right? You know, guys, we put on shirt. You know, we got the we got suit jacks and things like that. Ladies, you got your dress and things like that. But usually, it doesn't just stop at that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It doesn't stop at that. Okay. I'm sure some of you all have seen some of the jewelry or some of your wives had in your in, this, in your families too. I'm just saying. You know, but but you know, sometimes the ladies they'll ask some jewelry. They ask them, they'll, there's a shoe, there's this, there's this saying, you buy the shoe first and the dress will come, right? I don't know where that came from. I don't know. <laughs> so, but, but, you know, you got your shoes, you got, you know, you got your jewelry. These are, these are those small things. These are those small parts. These are those small parts that bring something to the whole outfit. You have a small part, and I, I hate to say small, but you have a part that brings something to the whole plan, that brings something to the congregation, that brings something to the ministry of Pastor Jay and Pastor Debbie. Just as those shoes do. My shoes right there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, guys, we have ties, you know, or something like that, or belts, you know, you know, pocket squares. <laughs> so, so these things add, okay? So don't think that because I'm not in this position, I have no supply. You have a supply. You have a supply. You have a supply. So in all its various parts, so go, I mean, it's, this even goes to the children. To the DOT, to the youth, to next level, to to uh, to the, the the middle folks, I guess. I don't know what you. I don't know because I have a name. But I don't know. 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 And then the four right. Everybody, the congregation. There we go. I don't know. I don't know if I just made a new group. The middle. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, so to all, okay, to all, listen up, all the various parts, all the various parts, from the ushers to the, to the housekeeping, to the praise and worship team, to the counters, to the, hus the hospitality, to the, the AV team, to, to the TVs, the aviation, everybody, all various parts, you have a supply. <clears throat> now check this out. Let's keep rolling. Uh, if you look at, uh, back, we're still in verse 16 here. So it says, uh, closely joined and firmly knit together. Ooh, closely joined. You ever, uh, you ever play with Legos? I hope so. If not, y'all just missed all the old childhood. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> But there's some times where they'll, they'll play some Legos and, and, uh, and you ever play with this, this, this like, you know, you, you're building something, whether a car or whatever, and you have a little, you have a lot of small things that's like put together, compacted together. And then, and then they notice, I made a mistake. Can, can you help me take this apart? And I'm like, dude, they're so close together. I need like a jackhammer done to take it apart, you know? I need heavy machinery to get access to it. But, but you know what, the reason, but if, if you think about it, because of the closeness of the, the parts, because of how close, it is difficult to be torn apart. 
So the supply that we have, that we bring, we need to be close. We need to be close. We need to be close. Close in unity in our, as a congregation, but close to our pastor's ministry as well. You gotta be close. You gotta be close. <clears throat> it said join, closely join, and, it didn't just say join, and uh, firmly knitted together. <clears throat> now, have you ever, anybody ever knit? <laughs> Guys, don't raise your hand, let me say. <laughs> so, <clears throat> actually, I've, I've done some knitting before, okay. You're like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. Well, Mary Eccles, she's a home economics teacher. Come on. <laughs> My mother, she, she was a home economics teacher. So she, she did knitting, she did, you know, sewing, she taught about cooking, she did, you know, a variety of things, you know, as a teacher. So there's, so yes, as a kid, we did some knitting. So, I ain't too scared to say that. <laughs> I'm a man, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I felt that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, so yes, I have done some knitting before. I haven't done it in a long time. Don't ask me to, to knit some, you know, some oven mitts for you now, no, because you'll be burning your hands. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, but when you're knitting, it's like it's an interlacing of, of yarn or threads, and it's, it's, it's like it's very intricate, and, and, and they, they are firmly knitted together. They are knitted together in a series of connected loops. It's like it was purposeful. It was purposeful. It was purposeful. We were at uh, Don and Lee Summon and uh, at, uh, where, I forgot which one of them or something like that. And there's this guy who's making rugs. I forgot what the name of their call. They weren't like real big rugs. It's like a loom or something like that. And it's like, and this is my, 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 my nerdy brain. I'm like, how's that thing work? You know, I'm just like, well, you know, just being inquisitive, I guess. And, and he, it's like, he does one lever and it, and it uh, goes this way and he does another lever, goes this way and he has to do this and he has to stick this through here. And it's, and it, I mean, it's like very intricate, beautiful pieces that he's doing. But that's what that is. It's a very intricate knit or uh, interlacing of yarn or thread. It's, it's purposeful. You know, and, it's, and, and that's what Jesus has done with us. It's because remember, it all goes back to him. Because of him. Because of him. He puts you in a place there and he, 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 where you're purposeful. He didn't just set you there. Just do this. No, no, no. No, no, no. Purposeful. By the Spirit, our path, you know, by the Spirit, pastors, they do pray about, you know, what people, what, you know, what positions and things like that. And, and they, they, they do that. Okay. So, so it's purposeful. So you're closely joined and firmly knitted together. <clears throat> and you know what? Um, it talks about in 1 Corinthians 12, 18, how, you know, you were brought into, now Jesus brought you back into fellowship. Yeah. And because of that, because of that, you know, God said, all right, cool. Come on, all right, come on in. I got something for you to do to help me out. I'm going to put you in a, 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 go over to, actually, so you can see this. Go over to 1 first, first, first Corinthians 12, verse 18, yes. just so you can see this. 1 yes. Corinthians 12, verse 18. <clears throat> so remember, Jesus, by his blood, what he did on the cross, yeah. he made you righteous. He put you back in right standing with God. And check this out here in verse 18, it says, but now God has set members of every one of them in the body as it had pleased him. Amen. As he set, he set, he sets you at that place. He sets you at that place that you are closely joined. He sets you on purpose in, in that place where you are firmly knitted together. He sets you at that place uh, as it, it, and it brought pleasure to him. It brought pleasure to him. He did it on purpose. He did it on purpose. Amen. 
Now, now here, if we keep going, and uh, then it said, firmly knitted together by the joints and ligaments with which it is supplied. Now, I had to do a little research here, you know. So I'm, you know, booking you into the doctor's office, you know. So we talk, what is the joint, what's the ligament, you know. So, so you can just call me Dr. Dre. We'll see. No, I mean, no, 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 but no, 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 no. I'm not a real doctor, no, no. All right, but a joint is a connection made between bones or other hard structures. Am I, and I got, am I more right? Okay, Miss Moan, am I more right, you know? Okay, all right, all right, I got, I got some, I got some witnesses. Okay, I went to the right school. Okay, uh, the internet, I, no. Uh, so, so it's the connection between two bones or other hard structures. And, and I saw one where it says, they are nature's hinges. Mm-hmm. Uh, and these are like your knees, your elbows, your shoulders, and things like that, okay? And, uh, and ligaments are the tissue that connects bones to other bones. Yeah. Yeah. So like your knee, you have a ligament that's connecting, I don't know which bone is which, you know, but you have a, 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 a ligament that's connecting the two bones there, okay? <laughs> and um, and um, we are those joints and those ligaments there. We are closely connected, purposely knitted in place as God planned us to be. Okay, because if it's if when you look at when you look at verse 16 again of, in, back in Ephesians, <clears throat> it says uh, knitted together by the joints and ligaments with which it is supplied, with which it is supplied. So every joint and ligament have a, has a specific supply to bring. Every joint and every ligament has a specific supply to bring. Uh, every joint, every ligament has a specific supply to bring. Yeah. The, what, what, uh, what happens down here with this ligament can't be the same thing up here with my shoulder. <clears throat> you have a, there's a specific supply. And, uh, you know, these, these ligaments, I mean, you, you get injured, you, I mean, you could be out for a long time. There's some athletes that uh, out for, uh, I mean, you're talking about athletes that take care of their bodies, you know, and they should be well trained and things like that. Uh, but you have some athletes that are out a year sometimes from their, from their sport because of you know, a torn ligament. <clears throat> okay. And, um, and what I, one thing I did that I did uh, here at my, my schooling of the internet, <laughs> Okay, about, about medicine and ligaments and joints and things like that, you know. But one thing I, I did understand, and you all can correct me if I'm wrong, um, these areas, they, ha they tend to have a low blood supply. I'm getting some, I'm, okay. Which is why it's a harder time for it to heal. Okay. And, 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 and we are those ligaments and those joints. We are those, you know, and, and you ever notice when somebody gets offended? They remove themselves from their blood source? They remove themselves from their blood source. And, and then, uh, uh, you know, they're not connected properly to be able to get healed. So, praise God because it says because of him. We have the blood of Jesus. We have the blood of Jesus. So, it's so important that we are connected properly, that we are connected at the right place, because that is where we're going to get the ultimate source of blood from. It's important. It is important that we, that we are connected properly. Uh, uh, here at this church, if you have visitors at your local church, you need to be connected properly with, with, uh, underneath your pastor because that is how you get access to that blood supply right there. Amen. Through having a pastor. Yes. Because <clears throat> I, I know uh, when that, you know, if, if somebody... Like before they get injured, I mean, usually you know, there's some athletes that, that like, um, was it uh, Clay Thompson? You know, you know, he's one I remember. He, I mean, people are usually more explosive before uh, an injury like this happens. You know, but when they when but when they offer a year, 
it takes some time for them to be able to get back to where they were. They used to be able to, to run, to jump, to dunk, and do all these things, you know, because it, that it was connected properly. That's that's the same thing with us. We got to be connected properly to be able to be as powerful as we're supposed to be. All right. So so um, so we got to remember Jesus. Because this is, and his blood, because this is how, this is how you got connected in the first place. If you're not connected properly, if you're flapping around, if you're flapping around somewhere, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're not connected properly, then you won't have any blood flow. <laughs> so, how do you connect? How do you connect? Jump in. <laughs> Y'all thought it was going to be something like, you know, per deep. Per, I told you, I'm a little simple little fella. I'm just saying, you know, from, from, the, from, the, from the city, you know, I'm just saying. But, but, but just jump in. Just jump in. Jump in. Get involved. Uh, uh, I, Pastor Nancy, she's talking about Bear, how when they were at uh, Fredonia, and uh, he went to the Bills game. And he just jumped in. And he got featured on the big, the jumbo trial there. Okay? Same thing. As when he was younger, same thing happened to him. They went to a basketball game. Uh, He was, what, about a year or something? You remember this, right? (laughs) (laughs) You were already, see, he remembers. He wasn't a year old. So yes, and he was he was with my, my my brother and and they were they were up doing something whatever and they got featured on the uh, on the jumbotron, and it wasn't because of my brother's good looks. I'm just saying, you know, it wasn't it wasn't you know, <laughs> what? All right, I love you, brother. All right, I call you in about a week on your birthday. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yes, they got involved. And you know what? When they got involved, they got recognized. When, you got in, when they got involved, they got recognized. When you get involved with church, you get recognized by heaven. <laughs> they recognize, yep. And, and you know what? And you start to bring your supply. Just jump on in. And I'm not just, you know what? Not just helps. We saw, we saw this with Mary and Martha. It's not just helps. No, get, no, jump in, get involved. Get involved with the youth. Get involved with, the, with Next Level. Get involved with the forerunners. Get involved with the events that's going on at, at, the, at the church. Get involved because these are things that are, that are near and dear to pastors' hearts. They have these, these, these things here, and, that's, and that is a way that you're going to be blessed. That's the way that, 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 that flow gets towards you by participating. And I'll say this, if, 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 you're, if, you, if there's a, uh, a joint or a ligament that you don't use often, if, you're not, if, you're, if you don't use that, then, you know, when you try to reach for it, <laughs> it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. So it's the same thing. If you're one that maybe you just come, but you're not involved, you're not participating, you're not really using that. You're not really using your supply. So what you got to do, hey, and God will meet you where you're at. Just ease in. Ease in. Jump in on this one. Help out with, with grounds or whatever. Do this. Jump in. Help. You know, and then you keep doing more. Keep doing more. Keep doing more. And then all of a sudden that ligament starts to get moving even better, even better. You know, you can move that knee even faster because you're participating. You're using it more. Because check this out. If you look at verse 16, uh, because we haven't finished it yet, it says, it says, when each part adapted to its need is working properly and all its functions grows, it grows full, grows to full maturity. Full maturity. Now, in the King James, in the King James, it says, it says here, because I like how it says here too. Uh, if I start, let's see, from the whole body, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and, com- and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase 
of the body. It makes an increase of the body. It makes an increase of the body unto the edifying of itself. So here, by you bringing your supply, number one, you increase the body. The body gets stronger. The body gets, you can do more because you're bringing your supply. But not only, are, because not only does the body get, uh, gets blessed, but also that part gets blessed as well. You get blessed. There's a profit that you get because of the supply that you are bringing. So by being connected properly, by using that supply, you're getting blessed in the process. The supply that I have. <laughs> so, how do you get connected? Jump in. Jump in. <clears throat> if, if, you're, if you are just sitting, because God will meet you where you're at, there's a point where you need to, get, you need to jump in. I remember when I was at a, uh, a Word of Faith in, uh, in Detroit. It's a big church, and it's one of those with big churches. You can uh, you can kind of hide a little bit. And uh, and I, I trust me, I love the church, but I but I was destined to say I got to get involved. I got to I got to do something. I got to do something. So even in the midst of a big church, I was trying to get involved. You got to get involved to get to receive the most from it. You got to get involved, okay? Uh, another thing to connect, be hungry. Be hungry. I'm not just talking about ribs and mac and cheese that you may be thinking about, you know, this afternoon. No, be, be hungry for the word. Be hungry for the revelation of, of the word and the move of the spirit. You may not understand everything. God will meet you where you're at. There's a point in time when, when um, I didn't know much about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And uh, uh, I was saved, but I just didn't have revelation of that. And I, I knew because I just started teaching, I needed some more. I needed some more. And uh, uh, Mr. Thomas, he helped me out with that. Maya, she did as well. But one thing, too, when I got involved with at Word of Faith in Detroit, I started to also, I came across some old, some old friends from elementary school. Right. Willie Braxton and Adrian Hendricks. And uh, I, I had no clue. Y'all are Christians? <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, they weren't like bad fellas, but I just didn't hang around with them. You know, not a lot, you know. But, uh, and then we went to high school. We went to different high schools. And, but that just tells you what God, God, was, God, had, God had me in mind. He had some help. So, so you know, I got involved with them. And, and then there was a, there was a, a group, like a, a group of folks that they would have Bible studies at church. And, and it, was, it was a part where it really helped me out of getting around people that pray in the Holy Ghost, that understand, you know, to the best of their ability of, you know, the, the move of the Spirit. And that helped me out to understand, oh, this is good. This is good. Because I jumped in, I got involved. I got involved. Even if you may not understand everything, you know what? And, and, and you know what? It's a lie to think, oh, oh, I can't do anything until I understand everything. That's a lie. That's a lie. If that's the case, give me your car. Give me your cell phone. Give me your iPad. Give me your microwave. Uh, uh, give me your debit card because you have not a clue of how those things work. But yet you use them every day. So don't fall for that live thing and, oh, I, I got I to, gotta, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> and I'll say this, if there, is a, if there is a question of that, you know, then just say, you know, I'm reminded of in, in, uh, in Luke, I want to say 11 or something like that, where it talks about, you know, God, you know, if, if someone like, you know, an evil guy, an evil person, he gives, he knows how to take care of his kids. OK, but, you know, if if, you know, if you're asking God, you know, for bread, he's not going to leave you a stone. He's going to give you good things. He's going to take care of you. He's going to give you good things to help you out. So 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 you may not understand everything at this moment, but you know what? He's going to give it to you. He's going to help you out. He's going to reveal more to you. Yeah, he's going to reveal more to you. <clears throat> Here's another thing. Feed on, feed on pastor's ministry. Feed on your, if you're a visitor, feed on your pastor's ministry. That's how you, you know, you really get connected with them. 
You hear their heart. You hear, you hear their revelation. And, and be, be uh, excited about what they're excited about. Talk about what was ministered in church that, on Sunday or Wednesday. Even if you may not understand it, hey, I, I, I saw this verse right here. I like this right here. You know, you talk to somebody. You know, you know, your faith is made effectual by acknowledging. That's what it talks about in, in, the, in the Bible. You know, it talks about that. Where the more you communicate, the more it become, you become stronger within you. It talks about in Joshua. You know, you speak those things. You talk about it. You mutter it. Think about those things. And that's how those things will get bigger on the inside of you. Yeah. Hey, when they're, when they're shaking people's hands in the back, say, Pastor, I love what you, what you minister today. This is what I got. Oh, that blesses their hearts. Yeah, that's how you get involved. That's how you get connected. That's how you stay strong. <clears throat> no connection, there's no blood flow. No blood flow, there's no anointing. No anointing, there's no power. <clears throat> I'll even say this, if there's no connection, there's no purpose. Your connection gives you purpose. Your connection, having the, the, that, that ligament right there connected properly, it gave purpose for that part. It gave purpose for that part. I know there's a time where I had an opportunity for, um, I had an opportunity for, uh, you know, uh, another position somewhere. And I, it was, I could have done it, but there was no, it, it was, it wasn't, and nothing was wrong. But that peace there, it wasn't there. And there was a need for that position as well. But that peace was, it just wasn't there for me to go, go towards it. And what the peace was, I can't do it. Pray for that position. Pray for that, you know. But where I'm supposed to be is be connected properly. And, and, and one of the big reason is because I didn't want to get distracted from the plan of God that he had for us to, and, and the supply that we have for pastors as well. It was a good opportunity. Could have done it. They would have wanted me too. But because I just the peace wasn't there, and I knew if I were to take it, I would be pulled. I would be pulled in the wrong direction. My, my ligament would have been pulled in the wrong direction than what it was intended to be, and it could, and you know, and potentially injure, injure ourselves, my family, ourselves, much because of being in the wrong position. So you got to be properly connected. And when, it's, when everything is running, it, when everything is connected properly, then you're going to have some power that comes behind it. So take a look at yourself. Reflect upon yourself. Do you see yourself important to this ministry? Do you, see your import, do, you say, do you see yourself important, important to pastors' hearts? Do you see yourself important to, to the plan of God? And if, in, in 1 Corinthians 11, and I'm, gonna, I'm wrapping things up. 1 Corinthians 11, uh, 29 and 30, it talks about discerning your place in the body. Discerning your place in the body. Discerning your part in the body. And oh, here's, the, here's, the, and here's the thing. Because for, and it says, for this cause, many are weak, sickly, and deaf. Yes. There's protection being connected right. Yes. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Yes. There's protection. You may have you know, just hell breaking loose, whatever happening in, your, in, in whatever's going on. But you know what? If you realize that, you know what? I'm going to maintain my connection with my pastor. 
I'm going to maintain my connection with my local church. I'm going to maintain my connection with what the Word of God says. Even though on the outside, it, 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 may, like, it may seem like, you know, everything's falling apart, but I am going to stay, I am going to stay connected to the truth. I am going to trust in what the Word of God says that, that you know, uh, he, is he is my helper and, he'll, and there is a way of escape. I am going to trust and, and, and be faithful to my supply because that is my help. And I know a lot of us here, we've seen the protection happen. We've seen, oh, oh my goodness. We've seen, mm, 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 mm. Whew. I was just thinking about a situation that we were protected from because of being connected right. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a supply that you do bring. Pastors want your supply. <clears throat> Hallelujah. There's so much more I could say. But I'll say this, if you, if, uh, if you look in Philippians, it talks about the supply. I'm, not, it, um, I'm just gonna give you a few references here. But like Philippians 1, 18 and 19, it talks about the supply they bring to turn things, because Paul was in jail. This is, a, this is a local church that brought a supply of prayer yeah. towards Paul. Yeah. It also talks about in, in, in Philippians chapter four, it talks about the supply, you know, how they, they, they brought gifts several times to help bless them, you know. Uh, you can see this in Acts as well. Acts chapter four, how um, uh, because of the supply that the people had to Peter when, they, when, he, came, when he was released, he came back to that one company. They had, they, and, and they prayed, even though they were being threatened not to preach the gospel anymore. They prayed, and, 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 and you talk about the power of God just falling on that place. People got, people got blessed. Instead of being offended about what happened, people got blessed, and, 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 and the power of God happened where people started being baptized in the Holy Ghost. You know, the move of God was happening at that time. And I think, I don't know if there's an increase that happened at that time as well. I could be wrong. But, uh, and then, but, it, but also, if you look at in Acts chapter 12, how with Paul and Silas, they are in jail. Yeah. You have people praying for them. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> That's a supply that we bring, the supply that you have. You have a supply. You have a supply. And I, I'll say this as well. Um, and you have a supply to each other. We'll, we'll look at this from here, and then we'll end on this. In Hebrews chapter 10, the supply that I have, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, it says here, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much more as ye see the day approaching. You have a supply to your brothers and sisters here. You have a supply to those sitting right next to you, to your left and to your right. You have a supply for this church. You have a supply to pastors. You have a supply. You have a supply. And you know what it says? We need to be doing this even, so, even much more you know, in these last days. It is so important. This is how you stay connected. This is how that power, uh, this is how that supply f keeps flowing towards you. Amen. And Amplified, it talks about warning each other, urging and encouraging each other all the more faithfully. Mm -hmm. and, and then in, in Hebrews 3.13, it talks about, hey, we also need to exhort each other, urge, admonish, encourage each other so that none will have a hardened heart. That, you know, you, you get around people around you, they keep you walking in love. And that is so important because in the, if you look at that last uh, part of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 16, the last part there, the last two words or so, it says, uh, make an increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Yes. Edifying of itself in love. It's so important. There are things that we got to take care of in, uh, within our, um, within ourselves. We got to make sure we walk in love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Got to make sure that we are, uh, uh, you, know, you know, we keep an eye on, you know, being in unity, yes. keeping strife out and bitterness. Yes. Because there is a supply that we do bring such that it'll profit not only ourselves, but also it'll profit, you know, the church as well. So, so praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, the word is good. The word is good. The word is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Being connected right allows you to be an accessory to the blessing. <laughs> Instead of being an accessory to the crime, to a crime or anything, you're an accessory to the blessing. <laughs> You get to access the blessing. You get to access, um, you know, what God has for you. Um, for the, you, you, are, you become the vessel to help blessings get towards people, to people that are in need of it. That's what we're doing. This, 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 this church planted in Lee Summit. We are the vessels that helps that flow gets to that to those people. Their people's lives will be changed forever because of the supply that you bring. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. What a what a such an honorable position. What a such an honorable uh, opportunity to make an impact. You know, for for people's lives. Hallelujah. And that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be ambassadors. We're supposed to be representatives of, of Christ. That's, that's who we are supposed to be. Praise God. Hallelujah. Why don't you stand to your feet? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So never, you know, never think, I, I don't have a supply. No, you got a supply. You got a supply. You got a supply. You have a supply. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And one thing, when you realize the supply that you have, that, that, that you know what, this is my church, this is my pastors, when those thoughts try to come up and try to, to, to uh, you know, say something or whatever, you know what, you just tell the devil, shut up. Answer it. Answer it. Answer it. Answer it with the word. Take Ephesians 16, 4.16. Take, take that to the devil. Say, this is, by me being connected properly, I have a supply and it profits. I have a supply and it profits all. I have a supply and it profits. Whenever he starts to try to say, try to chirp, 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 no, you say you shut up. I have a supply. I have a supply. Answer it with the word. Answer it with the word. Say, I have a pastor and, and I am nourished by my pastor. I am protected by my pastor. And I, there's nothing lacking because I have a pastor. Answer it with the word. Answer it with the word. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Where are you? Have you been blessed today? I don't know about you, but I have. I have. This is, this is something that's, you know, it is, there's much more here, but this is, uh, this is where I think we, we're good to kind of stop for right now. So praise God. So hallelujah. So praise God. It is, it is, it is such a joy when you realize the, the place that you have. You could even be put in a, um, let's see, how, how can I say this properly? Um, yeah, okay. You can be put into a position that may not be comfortable on your flesh. But because you know you are in the place that God has placed you to be, there's ultimate joy. As, as Jesus, as he went to the cross, the joy set before him. He didn't want, I mean, his flesh, he didn't come in seriously. He wanted to know. But because of the joy, he realized he was fulfilling his purpose and his plan. That was the supply that he had for us. That's the supply that he had for us. And because of that, uh, you know, this, we got blessed. So you can be put in, in a, you may be in a position, uh, you know, where you're asked to do something um, and it may be uncomfortable on your flesh. Okay. And if this is what God is telling you to do, that's the main thing. You got to make sure this is what God's telling you to do. Okay. If you realize that, yes, this is the plan, then, then that, whatever it may be uncomfortable, it, it, it's no longer uncomfortable because you're fulfilling what God has told you to do. It's total joy, total joy. 
<clears throat> you know, you don't get joy of, of correcting papers from, you know, Spanish class or math class, you know, or having to have tough conversations all the time. There's no joy in that. But to know that God has placed you in that place, to have an impact on students, to have an impact on people that are there, yeah. that, to be a light to them, that right there was the, was the thing that makes, that's, that's the icing on the cake right there. That's what all matters. Being connected properly and, you know, and, 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 and having pastors to just, you know, feed us and teach us. And we take that. We take that with us. You all take it with you all in your jobs or whatever it may be. In your, you take that with you and you will see, you see, oh man, oh, I can impact that situation. Oh, I didn't know I can, I can talk to this person this way. I didn't know the impact that I could have on this person here. I didn't know that this was happening, but you know what it is? It is because you were faithful to what God told you to do. You were connected with, with pastors, with, with their ministry. You're connected with them and you, you, you act upon it. So, so being uh, in that, uh, being in his plan, being connected right is so vital. It's so vital. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you, Father. Uh, we thank you for your revelation. Thank you, Father, for trusting us with such, uh, such things that are near and dear to your heart. You called us to be faithful. You trusted us to be able to uh, take what you have and fulfill it. And we say we'll be good stewards with it. We'll be faithful to it. And we'll do it with joy. <laughs> we'll do it with joy. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Thank you. thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, <clears throat> hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, I'm blessed. I know you all are too. <laughs> And it's just such a, as I said before, it's such an honor to be, to, to, to be part of this local church, yes, to be part of this family, to, to, to bring a supply. Yes. <clears throat> and you know, when you, when you are uh, uh, working together, there's unity that has to be there. Yes. We were talking about tandem bikes this morning. And... Um, and how to, how to ride a tandem bike. We actually rode a tandem bike, you know, a few years back in Mackinac Island. And uh, when you get it on, it's like, oh, uh, it, it, takes, it takes some time to get used to who you're riding with. You can know them well, too. But it takes some patience. Got to learn, got to work some things out, you know. And, and we did make it through around the whole life. I don't think we fell either. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> <clears throat> but that, but, but, you know, Maya had a supply, I had a supply, but we had to work together. We had to work together. <clears throat> As he asked, were you, were you, uh, you know, riding faster or anything? No, we were still pedaling it, right, but, you know, together, but we had to do it at the same pace, same pace, same pace. Each, each of us brings a supply, but we got to work together. We got to keep working together. You gotta have some, some peace and love as well. We couldn't be arguing with each other. <laughs> no, no, because we gotta, we gotta go around the, we gotta, hey, we gonna make it to the other side, y'all, I'm just saying, okay? We had to get around the whole island, okay? So, <laughs> and they don't have, they didn't have any, uh, any automobiles there either. So, no, they couldn't come get us. So we had to, we had to, and we did. So as you're working together, maintain that unity. Maintain that peace. Work in love. Walk in love as you're working together. So, so praise God. <clears throat>